quick demo for this essential LiPo voltage meter and tester. Now I know many of you have seen these before and used them. They are a very inexpensive tool, yet they add a measure of safety to your hobby which is worth hundreds of times what you might pay for it. Now they work with lithium polymer or LiPos, lithium ion, lithium manganese, and also lithium iron batteries or life batteries. You can test and monitor a battery that has anywhere from one to eight cells. You can also easily program the monitor to sound a very loud audible alarm when the individual cells of your pack drop below a certain voltage that you set before flight. Using the tester is extremely easy. The pins on the back are labeled from 1 to 8 and you just plug the balance lead of your battery onto the pins of the tester and you are immediately shown the cell count, the voltage of each cell, and the total combined voltage, all within seconds. This way you can easily determine if the pack you're installing in your expensive aircraft has sufficient capacity for a flight. Just make sure the negative lead of your balance lead goes to the negative pin. One of the best features of this handy tool is the ability to quickly program it to sound an alarm if the average voltage of each cell drops below a certain level. To do this, just plug in your battery and press the little black button at the top of the tester until you see the desired minimum voltage level displayed. This will cause the alarm to sound if my battery pack drops below 3.7 volts. Now I just tuck the tester away inside the canopy of my helicopter, turn my transmitter on, then plug in my flight pack, and we're ready to go. Now let's go flying. Now the weight of the voltage tester is only 9 grams, which is about a third of an ounce. So it's as light as a feather and doesn't affect the performance of my 450X whatsoever. As you may already know, a couple bad things happen when your flight pack drops below a certain level. Namely, your ESC will suddenly quit sending power to your motor, which is all bad. That means your plane or your heli is coming down fast. Or your battery will over-discharge, causing damage to it. This is where the low voltage alarm is worth its weight in gold. As you can hear, my flight pack has reached my pre-programmed minimum voltage level of 3.7 volts and has begun sounding an alarm loudly and clearly. This means it's time to land. After a typical flight, my battery packs are well within the suggested 3.7 range and have been kept safe from over-discharging, which can be harmful to batteries. This is extremely handy for planes, and it is even more important for helicopters to know if your pack has dropped below a certain voltage because they will tend to drop out of the sky fast when the ESC shuts down. So this is a great little tool. I keep several of these around. One goes in my flight bag with my tools. Another gets strapped to my ground base antenna system. A third stays near my charging station. And a few more in my desk I keep for backups. This way I can test the state of any battery at any given time in the field or at home. If you don't have a couple of these around, pick some up. They just may save your airplane or heli from an expensive crash. And as any RC pilot knows, crashing is not what it's about.